Okay, so we've had extremely heavy rainfall. Uh, we're back here at the at the main uh, Bushcraft base camp, and we're only had about three to four inches of uh, of leaf, which is you know debris stuff covering the top of it after the, the the big downpour that we've had there's still been a decent amount of uh, seepage come through because normally during this time of year we have it's it's mainly just snow or ice but this was rain and uh, it has made its way through but not to to an extent to where it's um extremely saturated like it's still usable but definitely have some kind of ground covering which is it's basically going to be the same sleeping arrangement that we had before um, even though that tonight there's going to be some kind of ice covering but getting a fire going is going to be the the primary um, the primary focus um, I did bring my shotgun with me just because there's been a black bear that's been out of hibernation for some reason, so it's been in the area, so in the event that, you know, that's a problem, we got we got that basis covered, but um, it's going to be basically the same thing as last time, we're going to get a fire going, going to get an MRE meal in us, hopefully this time it's got a... Uh, it's got one of the, the 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 water heaters in it, unlike last time, so we ain't got to worry about you know dealing with that problem. But other than that, we got um we got waterproof pants. We got um we got a moisture wicking t-shirt. We got a wool sweater, and then we got our our uh, leather jacket. We've got our camera situation. We got a um. We got our Glock 17. Like I said, we got our 12 gauge shotgun, and I got a battery pack with me this time, just in case uh, the you know the, the camera thing ends up running short on us. So um, hopefully the moisture doesn't end up hurting the camera any, because if it does, that's, that that that'll be a problem. But I'm gonna try to get it underneath here, and uh, we'll get the fire going. So the fire is the the, the main priority. And uh, once we get that going, then we'll um, we'll move on to the next step. The first thing we're going to come out with is our wool blanket, which is going to be your main cover element for us tonight. Which is a hundred percent wool, military wool blanket. And then our secondary piece that we're going to use right now. Is a reusable space blanket, but we also have our military poncho, which we could use. Found some low-hanging pine limbs, which is like this is nothing new. We got our tender bundle right here, which is a pre-brought process. Which I mean, there's tons of ways that you can replicate that naturally, but when you're going to hike out around midnight for the sake of just trying to enjoy some <clears throat> winter time camping this is what you get so our lighter's not working which is one of the main reasons why you should always adhere by the uh, the laws of two meaning two is one one is none this is what we're going to do we've got we've got our main tender bundle right here in the middle so we're going to keep that there i'm going to take and set our lighter right there and we've got our we like that stuff right there is extremely wet
We've definitely earned ourselves. First things first, too, I gotta take and get this leather jacket off of us so that we can avoid sweating ourselves to death. Luckily, we got a uh, we got everything underneath us going the way that we want it to. We ain't got no much more drippage that we had before. We just got our got a moisture wicking shirt underneath and a hundred percent wool uh, sweater chili and macaroni MRE meal so I'm gonna try to back a camera up a little bit so that y'all can get a better uh, viewing angle of how things are gonna go while I'm trying to see here's the thing too let me tell you so I picked this one because this outing was like the most spur of the moment like I this was not like I would planned on going out like a couple days ago but I had some other stuff come up. So this one right here, I literally planned on, on hiking out like an hour and a half ago, which is like not much of a not much of a heads up. It, especially if you I mean, you know, if you're if you hike, you camp, whatever, you know what I'm talking about. Um and it's it's in the lower twenties right now, so keep that in mind as well. But this right here is the one that I've never tried before, and I'm pretty sure I'm going to hate very much. So, uh, I hope it's good, but let me back the, the, the good old camera up here, and uh, let's see if it's, uh, let, let's just hope that it's good. That's all I can say. Oh, alright, so ripping her open, what we got going right here? We got... It better have the heater in it, too, because, like, after that last one we, we dealt with that didn't have a heater in it, that was... That was a problem. So we'll rip all the guts of it out. That's the whole package. Um, I think put that away so we don't lose none of it. Never want to take and lose none of your, your equipment. So it's got its clear packaging right here. So pulling that open from the side, we first and foremost, we have our... Okay, so this is the chili and the macaroni, so that's what we got to be heating up. Um, let's see, let's see if we can find our heater, because if we can find our heater, we're going to go ahead and start heating it up a little bit. That's our mixing pouch for a beverage bag, that's what that is. Um, okay. okay, so right here is our, our, our heating pouch. Okay. Got a water jug. We're gonna go with the the heating line that it shows us. I'm gonna take and stick us in there first and foremost, just to make sure we ain't gotta worry about under or overfilling. Let me take and tear it where it says the tear line is. You gotta kind of allow for a little bit of overfill. But the biggest thing is to make sure that you get all the element that's in there wet so shaking it up a little bit helps and then using the um, the wooden packet is this for the macaroni yes so using this helps a lot too so what you do is you take this little piece of cardboard and you slip your meal down into it and the biggest and, and, and like what it recommends and what you should definitely do is you need to have it tilted I don't know the exact angle and I don't know if you can already see that but it's already got steam coming out of it the main thing is make sure you heat up all the element that's in there and then you take and you have it tilted up at about an angle it's about that right there and then you, you take and you leave like luckily I've got some wood right there that I can do I can leave it tilted up and you want that 10 15 minutes so we got oatmeal cookie we've got this is our condiment packet we'll break into that 
I can already tell you this one has some matches which is phenomenal we've got our bulletproof wood or not wooden but our bulletproof spoon like if the next time I come out which is probably going to be a couple of days because we're supposed to be getting some snow in a couple of days I'm going to be finishing up a wooden spoon and a wooden fork that I've been working on um, but this was just meant to be a quick out but this is our MRE plastic brown spoon I'm going to get a drink of this water too because this water right here this is some mountain water oh, I got to stoke that fire here in a second too can't be having that going out on us okay so this is our electrolyte bread <clears throat> electrolyte beverage powder which is great flavored so instead of the orange that we had last time that's great flavored uh, right here we have a beef snack so this is beef jerky that's what we got cooking right there if you want to see what that looks like it's just, it's just beef jerky in a dried pouch then we've got is this a cracker please is this better be a cracker yeah no it's a vegetable cracker Jesus Christ bro the regular crackers are great the vegetable crackers are they're vegetable crackers I don't know what to tell you I mean like they're not horrible but they're vegetable crackers and I don't appreciate the fact that that's vegetable um this is crushed red pepper so this could be potentially good within that macaroni do jig then we've got cheese spread with jalapeno so a spicy cheese spread which is definitely going to go on but we got a bobcat chilling out somewhere near here I don't know like where it's behind the mic the bobcats that direction uh, it's not a problem but if you I don't know if you could hear that or not but we got a bobcat chilling um, but anyways, and the last thing we got is a Twizzler. So, yeah. That's the last of it. So I'm going to throw this right here on there. I missed. <clears throat> so, I've, I've, dealt, I've got the fire really a rolling right now. And this right here has been sitting for somewhere between, it's definitely been at least 10 minutes, but I'd say it's somewhere between about 12, 15 minutes. And it's about to the point where between through the cardboard and everything else, I, de I can't even hold it no more. So uh, I definitely think that it's warmed up enough within that packet by the time we mix her together by squeezing it a bit, we should be good to go. Because uh, I don't want to, uh, I don't want to get too carried away with it. But that, yeah, that's definitely hot. That's definitely hot enough. So I'm gonna take and mix her up. I'm gonna mix it up a bit by circulating it through the pouch, and it's definitely gonna be warmer than the last one we had. Because I mean, between the last one we had, it didn't even get really get heated up that much at all. We had to take you know do that secondary heating method by actually using a bit of the fire that we got going so I can tell that the bottom half of this is a little bit on the uh, on the colder side but as hot as this top part is I'm not um I think this is going to be perfect eating temperature by the time we get everything in this thing mixed up uh, I just want to take and make sure we got everything else inside of the uh inside of this here meal with us the only two real condiment items that we got right here is our cheese spread and crushed red pepper so I'm thinking what I want to do is the cheese spread is going to go on that veggie cracker and most likely this crushed red pepper is going to be going into the to the macaroni because like I said I'm I love macaroni and I love chili but 
I do not know how much I'm going to like this here chili macaroni mix, but in the event that this is all we had, this is what we're going to be looking at. So we got a fire going. We, we decided to come out here. I'm very hungry, so that's going to help the, the matter of the fact. So you ain't going to be able to see Jack Diddley at that because I got the black and white. And I tried turning the black and white off so that that light and this light, but it just doesn't... It doesn't yeehaw. So with this, I'm very pleased with how much chili we got going on. At least there was a way you could see that better. God dang it. I know the black and white. I mean, it feels like we're in the 1950s, but... I'm not as disgusted or displeased as I thought I would be. Because that right there actually looks pretty decent. Hmm. Okay. You know what? So by itself, not too shabby. We'll take and sprinkle this in there. We'll burn that little tab right there. That, <clears throat> that right there is definitely probably not the best way to do that. I'm probably going to take and burn every taste bud in my body. Well, every taste bud on my tongue. <clears throat> yeah, and chili flakes definitely add some spice to it, which is very nice. And, like, after having a bit of that, I think that the best thing to do, I'm going to put some of this right here, this jalapeno cheese in the macaroni and chili, and then mix it with the crackers and see how that is. Oh yeah, right there. That's the way to do it. Okay, so I'm gonna take and save the um, I don't know, this great beverage powder would have been very good with that, but I forgot about it, so I'm gonna save that for the morning. The oatmeal cookie, the Twizzlers, and obviously like the coffee, the sugar. And that's pretty much it. But the last but not least, what we got with this is what they uh, have done did went and termed a beef snack. And it's starting to get very cold, so I got to take and stoke that fire up. But um, we got a beef snack, so it's just a piece of beef jerky. So that between the chili and the macaroni, which I'm very surprised that I liked that as much as I did, because that was actually very good, especially with that jalapeno cheese and that chili powder if you have if you have if you're somebody that has bad acid reflux and you definitely want to avoid that but I really enjoyed it um, so we got a piece so within the regular vacuum sealed packs we got another vacuum sealed container which is which is what contains a beef jerky And this looks extremely chewy, so very curious to see oh, how this tastes, if I can get it open. It's definitely well preserved. This right here is one of those things that will outlast somebody for 70 years. Um, once again, yeah, there's not much I can do with showing you how that looks without, because it's in black and white. I don't have a very good sense of smell, but that right there doesn't seem to have much of a smell to it. Okay. Extremely thick and extremely chewy. But... That is a very nice, juicy, teriyaki flavored piece of beef jerky. And, and I'm somebody, I'm pretty particular when it comes to beef jerky because most of the time it's very dry. 
and I'm gonna get the fire stoked back up using a bit of the old refuge that we had left over So it is about time to get out of here. We got the good old fire. I took and started it back up. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna um I'm gonna skip over the great beverage powder just for the sheer fact that I'm I'm gonna just take and break into that later. But the main thing that we got going for us this morning is the good old oatmeal cookie so let's take and take a look at that okay i hope the fire ain't too loud for you because the uh because that thing's actually roaring pretty good um i've never had one of the oatmeal cookies out of an mre meal So, other than the, uh, the the condiment packet, that was the last of 
Everything goes in MRE meal, other than the uh, the beverage drink. So we're just gonna pack her up and leave. Make sure I got this here uh, the fire, you know, extinguished before I leave. But uh, it's a good night, a very good night. So everything went well. Um, I, I definitely gotta take and reinforce the um, everything that's on the that's on this here bushcraft shelter because if it wasn't for I'm looking but it's 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 cold. So um definitely need to reinforce that. I thought I would have had my, my leather jacket it would have been too hot, but that was a good cover element from a shotgun, and uh, everything went good. So, as always, guys, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Be sure to hit that thumbs up button, subscribe if you haven't share your friends, check out my other channels, and uh, yeah, we're just gonna we're just gonna be packing it out.